Good morning. We're here to support military family member, Speak Out member, and friend Marsha Westbrook, a mother of three sons, all from West Virginia, and they joined the military. We want to bring light to a terrible injustice that has been done to one of our family members and to see that this policy that is practiced by the Department of Defense is stopped. Marsha Westbrook. Hi. Until August 28th, 2015, I was a three Blue Star mother. On that date, my youngest son, who was an active duty um, Green Beret, completed suicide at his home in Colorado Springs, Colorado. He was stationed at Fort Carson. In um, 2011, President Obama changed a long-standing White House policy on condolence letters uh, to, in military suicide. This change in, in included active duty suicide completed while deployed in a combat zone. While this is more a step in the right direction, over 75% of surviving families are stigmatized and do not receive the support that they need. Um, according to the Army, less than one quarter of active duty suicides meet the criteria. This would suggest that these troops completed their duty in defense of their country while deployed and after fulfilling their obligations while in combat suffered from the unseen wounds of war. A condolence letter may seem like a minor issue in the overall picture, but it is symbolic of the major issue of stigmatizing active duty and veteran suicide. Thank you. Marsha has been waiting almost a year for her letter of condolence from the, from the president. And although we were told that the Department of Defense policy now allows for a letter of condolence to be sent to service members who die by suicide in combat zones, just to be clear, this policy excludes families who, like Sergeant First Class Tyler Westbrook, completed suicide while on active duty while stationed at Fort Carson on the base. The Department of Defense needs to stop this despicable policy. This policy causes untold grief to hundreds of families like Marsha Westbrook. Suicide, we know, runs rampant in the military, and no doubt this is due to the endless and unjust wars. This policy of excluding our loved ones from receiving a simple letter of condolence from the president only serves to perpetuate the stigma that even our top government leaders will not discuss or even recognize by a simple letter of suicides that happen in our military. Next, we are sending a letter to President Obama to demand that he correct this shameful policy. Thank you. Uh, my name is Ann Wright, and I spent 29 years in the U.S. military, 13 years on active duty, and 16 in the reserves. And the whole, uh, I also was a U.S. diplomat, I resigned from the U.S. government as a diplomat in 2003 in opposition to the war on Iraq. The issue of suicides, where we have 22 persons a day, veterans and active duty, that are committing suicide, is something that our government uh, does not want us to hear about. Uh, they definitely don't want us to hear about the suicides of men and women that are on active duty that these men and women are not able to cope with the pressures of what is being required of them by the U.S. military. And they are essentially hiding uh, these horrific statistics of the numbers of people on active duty that are committing suicide. And the, the fact that indeed the Westbrook family, Marsha and her family, have not received a letter of condolence for, from the president for the, the suicide of, of her son uh, while on active duty in the United States uh, is horrific. But it is reflective of the fact that the, the U.S. military and the U.S. government does not want us as citizens to know the extent of the trauma that our men and women on active duty are feeling. So I join with Military Families Speak Out to say to the President of the United States and to all the, the, the uh, Defense Department people that they must acknowledge these, this tragedy, uh, acknowledge what these wars are doing to the men and women that are serving in 
the military and the great trauma that is caused uh, to the families of these military personnel. Thank you.